I'm Helen Stubbings, the designer behind the brand Hugs and Kisses and a friend of Bonina. Today I'm going to show you how I set up my 750 to do the machine applique stitch that I use for all of my needle turn applique. So I'm showing you how I set up my 750 Quilters Edition Bonina. Many of us have this machine, it's a beautiful machine, however it has been superseded but there are many other in the 700 series that um, work almost the same. So the things that I have changed from my default package for this technique are, it came with a 20D um, dual feed open toe embroidery foot. I actually purchased the original 20C, so the um, standard foot with a, a narrower opening here. Um, reason being is the wider one, um, the applique tended to get pushed down into the gap and also this suits perfectly to sit on the edge of my applique piece. The open toe embroidery foot allows me to um, have full vision of my applique and you'll see when I show you the technique how perfectly it works. I've also swatched out, I switched out my stitch plate. So this is a five millimeter stitch plate. If you look at what came with it, the nine millimeter, it has this big wide gap there. And again, it caused issues with applique, tiny points and things pushing down into the hole there. And of course, this is the straight stitch plate, which just has a single hole for straight stitch that also comes with the machine. So I'm using the five mil stitch plate. I'm using a number 60 Microtex needle. Okay, you could use a 70, a top stitch or a, um, or a Microtex, um, just a really nice fine needle because I am using a Superior Monopoly Invisible Thread and I'm using it in the top and in the bobbin. Now because I do so much of this, I buy it on a cone and you may know that um, monofilament threads can be quite fussy with your machines and quite tricky to use. Some of the tips and techniques that I've found that help is um, having it a long way away from your machine. So instead of putting it on the spool holder, I've got a cone and I've got it on a cone holder way over on the back of the table there. And then I bring it through this extra thread guide here before it enters the tension path. And by having it a long way away, any loose slackness or flyaway thread um, loses that sort of flyaway loopy bits before it gets to the tension disc so it um, helps with having tension issues and getting all tangled up. If you do put it on your spool make sure to use the thread net that comes with it to give it that little bit of extra tension so you're not getting it flying off the reel and having loose and tight tension as it's going through. I also use it in the bobbin and we can talk about winding the bobbin another time. So the stitch that I use, I'm just going to clear that and go back to a straight stitch. Okay. So on the stitch panel here, we're going to go back to our choice of folders of all the stitches that are default in your machine. And you'll see on the first screen there's six different folders. If you arrow down, you'll notice that there's one more folder there and that's the folder where we'll find our stitch. So 1324 it says there. If we open it up, the stitch I use is 1331. You could try 1329 which is more of a blanket stitch, but I like the 1331 which is a blind hem stitch. Okay, it's a stitch that goes duh, duh, duh in the ditch and then it just swings in every now and then and catches. So that's the stitch we're going to use. However, we also need to change the width and the length. So we need the length change so that that little swing stitch swings about every two millimeters for our applique. So I'm going to change my length down to about 0.3, quite tiny. I then need to change the width so that it only swings enough to just catch the edge of your applique piece. Now this is a bit fiddly, so we're going to take it up to about 0.7. Now when you're first starting, you might like to start a little bit larger, a little bit wider, just so you don't miss the edge of your fabric while you're working. But 0.7 or 0.6 is a good one once you've got the hang of it. Okay, so 0.7 and 0.3. Once we've got that stitch all set up, um, the last thing we need to do is move our needle. So we're going to move our needle all the way across to the right as far as it will go. And what that does is when we put our needle down, it brings the needle right on the inside edge of our open tie embroidery foot there. And when I demonstrate the stitch, you'll see why that's really handy. So our stitch is all set up. We've got our width, our length, and we've moved our needle position to the right. Once you've done all of that, we're going to add it to memory. So we just go to our memory bank, save it to our memory, and there's our applique stitch. So every time we're going to applique, our stitch is there ready to go.
Now that my stitch is all set up and ready to go, now we, we can start applique. So I place my applique piece, which has been um, basted onto the background, underneath the presser foot and I have the edge of the applique piece sitting on the inside edge of my foot. And you can see if I lower my needle, it's right in the ditch of the um, applique piece and the background fabric. And that's exactly where we want it to be. Because if I stitch, it's going to swing and catch the edge and then that three little straight stitch is going to be sitting in the ditch. The little swing stitch just catches the edge of my applique piece. And all I need to do is watch the edge of my applique piece and make sure that that is following along on the inside of my presser foot. Don't need to look at the needle, I can just watch the edge and sit it on the edge of the circle so that my stitch is in the right place. By having it set up so perfectly, I can put my speed up to full, up here, across to full speed, pedal to the floor and go full steam ahead. And you just guide your fabric around, keeping the edge of the piece on the inside edge of your presser foot. And if we zoom in here, you can just see the little tiny spots where the stitch has formed. Once that's washed, we've dissolved our applique paper, those little stitch holes will disappear completely and you'll have a perfect invisible applique with a needle turn look, but done by machine.